Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're making makki ki roti. This is a accompaniment to our sursoka sag. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. <laughs> yep. Here we have uh, half a cup of uh, makki ka atta, also known as corn flour. Now this is not corn meal. And unfortunately, you only get it at the Indian store. We have tried the one at the regular grocery store and it just doesn't work. It has to be fine just like atta or like flour and not like little granules. So we have about half a cup over here and uh, a few things about makiki roti is uh, one is it has to be made at the time of eating. Unfortunately you can't make it ahead and keep it. It's best had fresh. So we've got the sarsoka sag ready. We also have made an, another um, jaggery accompaniment with it and now we're going to work on the makki right. ki roti. Well, one important thing, um, I know you say corn flour mm -hmm. but uh, corn flour is also corn starch <gasps> also yeah. known as so it's not corn starch <laughs> not that kind of corn flour this is actually flour made from corn. So okay and to this we're going to add a few things. We have quarter teaspoon salt, just a pinch of ajwain or carom seeds and mix. And we already have our tawa heating up right now. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure it's nice and hot by the time this gets done. And here we have about two tablespoons of uh, firmly packed uh, daikon or white radish. And uh, we've just shredded it. Um, it doesn't matter really how you shred it. Uh, mm -hmm. Either fine shred or a little bit thicker shred is fine. But we're going to add this into our flour. Yeah, also known as muli in Hindi. Right. Now we've chosen to keep the, we have not squeezed out the water from the muli because it just has got a lot of flavor and uh, we're going to keep it. Now a lot of people make makiki roti without the muli but we feel just it adds a lot and uh, tastes really good mm -hmm. so we're going to keep it. And this is what a radish or a muli looks like. Okay, this is mixed in. And once that's mixed in, we have some really hot water here. We heated it in the microwave for about a minute and a half, so it was really, really hot. And one tablespoon at a time, we're going to keep adding it to our mixture. So that was just two tablespoons we used. Yeah, and also actually it depends on how, how long you keep your uh, muli or your daikon for because a lot of times once it mixes with the salt over here, it'll release some water. So just do a little at a time. As long as you can make a, you know, a peda or a, a ball out of it. See, this is doing good. So we're gonna stick to this, and we're gonna start uh, making the roti now. This is a very easy thing, but just do a little at a time. I think half cup makes about uh, four Good rotis. Yeah. Okay. So to roll out our makiki roti, uh, here's one of the simplest ways we found. We just took a Ziploc bag and cut it open, so we have you know a nice sheet of plastic, mm -hmm. and we're gonna lay it down here, and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of water on here. and just rub it so it's a little wet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a, a ball and I'm going to put a little bit more water on this because it needs to be, it tends to dry up you know and then it will break up. So I'm going to put this, make sure there's a little bit more water on top, close it up and then just take your plate and just push it down gently, no rolling needed. So tawa is nice and hot. I'm going to season it with a little bit of ghee. That's it. Open it up. And we can take a little bit of ghee or oil. Just drizzle it over the sides. Drizzle a few more drops on the top and we'll flip it over. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it is thicker, so it takes a little bit more time for mm -hmm. it to cook all the way through. Yep, and I'm now going to roll till 
that is out of the way. So you have to have patience to wait. <laughs> so this whole process seems really easy, but uh, <laughs> we'd like to put a disclaimer on that. <laughs> it, it does take a lot of practice mm -hmm. because the corn flour tends to be very um, powdery. Yeah. So even when it comes together with the water, it, the muli helps to bind it together, but still as you're rolling it and as you're transferring it onto your tabao, it breaks a lot of times, but you know, you, you can just fix it while it gets on the tava, just fix it, flatten it out, and carry on. But right. uh, you know, just want to let you know, it does take a little bit of practice right. to do this. It tastes good, you know, so even if the shape is a little off, it'll stay, still taste good. That's Absolutely. the impos important thing, really. So once this is done and it's cooked on both sides, we're going to transfer it into an insulated container. Mm -hmm. Make sure it stays warm till we finish the rest of them. I think the secret is, you know, when you're still learning, make smaller ones where you have more control. And once you become a pro, which will be very soon, <laughs> you can make nice big ones. So for the recipe that we're using, it makes about four um, little-sized uh, rotis. But you can always double it or triple it and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, according to how many rotis you need. Yeah. I'm going to start now, start working on the next one. And make sure you keep cleaning off the plastic, uh, the Ziploc, because you know that way, lesser chances of it sticking. So I'm going to put some more water here. Take my atta again. Take some more water. Make sure it's very well hydrated. Close it up. This is such a neat trick, isn't it? it? Is. I wish we could do that for chapatis. <laughs> so, makki ki roti, sarso ka saag. Bhai wa. Kya swad. It's got to have amul, it's got to have amul, amul butter. butter. <laughs> Sugar, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, it has to have butter though. <laughs> but here's a little trick to put the butter to make it look pretty. Just take your peeler if you don't have one of those fancy gadgets and just turn it around, just roll it. That's so cute. Here you go. So you can put a little on here, you can a little put, put a little on here. Excellent. So this is ready. So you have your sarsoka sag. Of course, we have gobi shalgam and gajar ka achar, which is a very Punjabi mm -hmm. thing. And we have the wonderful accompaniment. <laughs> which we haven't figured out a name for. <laughs> but it's <That> good. <laughs> yeah, it is very good. But a, just a word of caution. I we just wanted to uh, tell you that the makki ki roti is pretty heavy on the stomach. So, uh, you know, when you're counting how many people, how many uh, each person is going to have, don't count the same amount as a chapati. This thing will sit in your stomach for a while. Correct? This looks so good. Yep. It's beautiful. I'm ready to dig in. <laughs> yep, we've got to do that. So anyway, enjoy your makiki roti, sarsoka saag and all the paraphernalia. The other thing that goes really well, I think we mentioned earlier was uh, maki dal or the kali dal. So that's the other thing that goes excellent with this. And you can finish it off with a glass of lassi. Ah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and then go to sleep after yeah. that. <laughs> so join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>